thankful to God that we are finally able to commission this shared facility after several delays, largely caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. I bring you the personal felicitations of Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, who is as excited as we all are that we're able to commission this facility here today. MSMEs, as you know, are a priority for the Buhari administration because they are, as you know, an engine of growth for the economy and because they account for almost half of national income and three quarters of jobs that are created. Given our determination to support our countrymen and women who run small businesses, we have held MSME clinics in 27 states of the Federation. In the course of running the clinics, we noticed that in addition to their request for a more friendly regulatory environment, MSMEs also wanted to be supported in terms of production facilities which were lacking or too expensive. So this is how we came about the idea of supporting MSMEs by providing at least one shared facility in every state of the Federation. Now these shared facilities provide clusters of small businesses with machinery or equipment that the individual business can either rent or use for short periods. In addition to the convenience and access to the latest equipment, this arrangement also spares them the financial burden of having to purchase vital equipment on their own. So the whole idea of a shared facility is to ensure that small businesses can have access to sophisticated equipment and machinery which is provided by government and they can use those facilities because individually they may not be able to afford them. So the Shared Facilities Project is a partnership between the federal government and in the particular case of Anambra State, Anambra State Government and the Bank of Industry, Nexim Bank, and the private sector. The particular sector of commerce that is to be supported, for example, we've chosen to support shoemaking, is usually chosen in collaboration with the state government and the relevant MSME stakeholders. We've made substantial progress with, re with respect to shared facilities before our plans were disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And given the severity of the crisis that Nigeria faced, along with the rest of the world, the federal government adopted the Economic Sustainability Plan to stimulate the economy, including measures to boost local production and reduce the impact of COVID-19 on jobs and businesses. So in the particular context of MSMEs, one of the approved stimulus schemes was the 75 billion Naira Survival Fund Scheme. This scheme supported up to 35,000 MSMEs in each state through payroll support and grants to artisans and road transport workers. This was very ably uh, conducted by the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment and ably led by the Honorable Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment. I understand that as of, as of today, Anambra State alone has close to 30,000 beneficiaries across all tracks of the scheme. And it is pleasing to note that some of those beneficiaries are here today. Now that we are gradually uh, opening up parts of the economy while maintaining public health rules of social distancing, wearing of face masks, regular hand washing, etc were able to resume the activities of building shared facilities across the country. But the journey to establish this particular facility, this leather production uh, hub, began in October 2018, as we've heard from His Excellency the Governor, after Anambra State hosted the National MSME Clinics, where an equipment sharing workplace was identified as an urgent need for MSMEs in this state. The MSME clinic 
team accordingly then began to discuss on how and what sort of facility uh, should be uh, established here. And we decided that it will be a top quality leather and shoe making uh, facility here in Anambra State. I'm told that this leather cluster has about 2,000 stores, the cluster itself, with almost 30,000 MSMEs operating generally in this, uh, in, in this vicinity. So I have no doubt that this facility will be of immediate value to all of them. When asked, some of the MSMEs operating here said that they were able to produce between 200 and 400 shoes a month using manual processes. But I think we heard the chairman of the Igunike uh, Shoemakers Association say that with this facility, they are able to do up to 1,000, I believe, a week or possibly even more. But I'm pleased to tell you that this facility would have a potentially monthly production, if used to full capacity, when all the equipment is in use, of about 96,000 shoe soles, the soles of shoes, 96,000, 44,000 slippers, and 44,000 pairs of shoes, and 22,000 boots. So I think we have to take seriously the request made by His Excellency the Governor about trying to get uh, the armed services and those who wear boots to patronize uh, this facility and patronize the entrepreneurs who are here in Anambra State. This project will also help provide relative circle to MSMEs by also housing a one-stop office for MSMEs. So this arrangement brings all relevant regulatory agencies under one roof to enable the MSMEs that require services or who face difficulties to access them with ease. So this one-stop shop will save costs and valuable time for small businesses in the cluster and also in the general area. So let me at this juncture place on record that the federal government got the unwavering support of the state governor, of the state government under the very able leadership of Governor Willie Obiano in building this facility. In, in addition to providing a suitable location, the state government also supported the project by building a brand new workspace to house the equipment itself. I therefore wish to thank uh, His Excellency the Governor and his team for the very strong partnership and dedication in ensuring the successful establishment of this facility and to commend all their laudable efforts. This, this shared facility will be run by a competent private sector firm, while the federal and state governments uh, will keep a constant eye on its activities to ensure that it, it achieves all of its set objectives. It's our expectation that the federal government agencies, such as the Nigerian Export Promotion Council, the Nigeria Import uh, the Nigerian Export and Import Bank, Nexim, and all other agencies will leverage on the establishment of this facility to ensure final products from here meet global standards and are fit for export to the rest of the world. In addition, I thank all the other MSME partners and agencies for their contribution to making this project a reality. But I must say that this shared facility is only one aspect of this administration's commitment to improving the commercial environment, but also the living and working standards of our people across Nigeria, and in this case in particular in a number of states. Later today, I'll be commissioning the new power substation in Orca, installed by the Niger Delta Power Holding Company. Now, this is a significant investment in, in increasing power supply in the state that will provide a multiply, that will have a multiplier effect on the economy. When I visited Anambra in 2018, His Excellency the Governor made a number of requests, and I think he has alluded to that already in his speech, revolving around issues such as the need to secure funding for MSMEs in Anambra State, the establishment of a one-stop shop and shared services for MSME development, and the need to boost patronage of made in Anambra products. Today, I'm delighted to report that the president has kept his pledge 
and we have been able to address all of these issues. First, I am here on this occasion to commission this shared facility and the one-stop shop, as promised, with the facility commencing operation, uh, the, the, the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, and will ensure and continue to engage that we ramp up mass production of made in Nigeria shoes and government agencies will be encouraged to patronize the facility. In addition, following the facilitation of a collaboration by the presidency between the Anambra state government and strategic stakeholders, including the CBN and Nexin, the Development Bank of Nigeria, the Bank of Industry, and the Anambra State Small Business Agency, ASBA, we've been able to access funds with which to support MSMEs in this state. Your Excellency, let me assure you of this administration's commitment to seeing through all of the major infrastructure projects that will have impact not just on this state, but on the entire zone. The second Niger Bridge project, which connects Asaba in Delta State, as you know, and Unicha in Anambra State, has reached close to 65% completion. By the time it is completed, in October 2022, the project will offer significant benefits, as you know, for the contiguous states and indeed the entire nation by easing traffic flow, improving road safety, and creating opportunities for residents uh, and, and all of the, in, the, in all of the neighboring states. So there will be a regeneration of economic life. Not only will it significantly reduce travel time and alleviate traffic congestion, it will spur an increase in investments agriculture and trade between Lagos, Potakwa, and Onitsha due to the improved and quicker access to markets. I believe that it will also encourage regional integration by improving the transportation infrastructure. Concurrently, the concession of the Onitsha Inland River Port is in its final stages. Both the draft concession agreement and the full business case have been transmitted to the infrastructure concession Regulatory Commission for necessary action. When it becomes fully operational, it will effectively decongest APAPA ports and ultimately translate into a reduction in the cost of imported goods. The cumulative effect of all these measures is to open up this region and our resolve to pursue this project to their completion is an indication that the administration sees this zone, the southeast zone, as a strategic industrial and trade hub. They also demonstrate our conviction that Anambra State and the Southeast at large have a massive role to play in order to foster economic growth and lift our people out of poverty. So the commissioning of this facility today is a milestone in our nation's economic uh, adventure. And it is therefore with very great delight that I formally uh, commission this leather hub shared facility for MSMEs here at Obunike and Ambra State today. And when we do um, go over to commission, I'm sure that um, this will open up really fresh uh, vistas for the shoemaking business in Anambra State. And we'll also, uh, later on, through the His Excellency the Governor, officially hand over the facility to the uh, leadership of the Okunike Leather Cluster Association. So I'd like to thank you all very much for making the time to attend this event. God bless Anambra State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.